What we're going to go over today is splicing two stepper motor wires together. This is most commonly used when you have two Z motors, but you only have one plug on your board. This is a pretty quick process, and all you're going to need is some electrical tape and your side cutters that come with your printer. If you have a soldering iron, it's also recommended, so I'm going to show you guys how to twist them together. So let's get started. We have two stepper motor wires here, and these are your standard four pin JST XH plugs. Now what you'll notice is that one side of the plug has a keyed connector on it with these little like forks. You have the metal terminals here on the other side. On Creality machines, you usually just have a black wire and all four of them are black. So it's really hard to figure out which one is which. So what we're gonna do is look at these here. Now this one does have markings. Your newer machines might have markings on the wires to indicate which one is which, but some of these do not. So we're gonna splice this in and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, assuming that you don't have any markings on these wires. The easiest way to do that is take the two plugs and line them up identically. And we're going to mark one plug, because you can see they're in a ribbon and they're all together. So we can identify which one needs to go where by marking one of the wires on each one so we know which is our reference point. We're only going to need one of these plugs, so I'm going to cut one of these and I'm going to leave a couple inches so we have room to work with. And before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and peel back one of these wires for our reference. And then we're going to stick a little piece of electrical tape on here. And to figure out what the reference point is, you want to line the plugs up. These each have the same pinout, and you can see here I got the terminals. You don't want to have it like this, where you have the terminal connection points here showing. You want to have them the same. Now you could do it well like this, but the important part is when you start and you mark that reference wire, you want to have them in the same orientation. So I've peeled back these one wires, and we're going to put a little piece of electrical tape on here so I know which one's my reference point. So again, just double check. Here's our reference one with the tape on it. And this is the one all the way to the left here with the keyed side facing you. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one, pull it back a little further and put some tape on it. So now I can cut these wires. Now I'm only going to need one of these plugs. Now, if you're like me and you like to reuse these and have them on hand, leave a little bit of wire on here. So if you do need to reuse this plug, you can. Most of the boards that have the two stepper outputs, like the Creality boards and many other ones, all that they're doing with the second plug is what we're gonna do here, except they're doing it at the board. So each of the headers are connected in parallel, so meaning pin one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four. They're not series wiring. And that's fine. Series is technically better, but parallel is a lot easier. So now I've got my reference one marked. There's no plug on this. I'm gonna peel these back so I have some room to work with. And then to separate the other ones, you can just carefully put your side cutters in between and then you're gonna clip it. And that'll give you a way to peel it back. Now, since we're gonna be using this plug, I'm gonna make sure I leave enough wire here to work with. And I've got my reference point marked and I'm going to cut this one off here as well. And now we're gonna do the same thing we did to the other one. We're gonna separate all these wires so we can work with them here and peel them back so we can then strip them. This is a lot easier if you have cables that are marked, but like I said, we're doing this assuming that we don't have these marked or they're not different colors. Some machines are different colors, but most of your Creality machines are gonna have these black wires and the older ones do not have any markings on them like these do. So we're going off the reference point. Now we know our reference point was the one on the left here. If you want, you can also mark this, but if you remember, we started with the one on the left, so I'm gonna strip this wire, and I would say go one set of wires at a time. Now, if you put light pressure on your side cutters, if you don't have wire strippers, you can actually just do this. Just put light pressure and pull, and you're going to strip the end of the wire. You don't wanna to put too much pressure because then you're gonna cut through it. See, I didn't put enough pressure there, and it just kind of stretched it. So I'm gonna go back put a little more and now we have this. So I'm going to take these two wires. These are our reference wires and see here it's a little hard to work with because I'm right up on where they all come together and I'm just going to give this a little more working distance and then we're going to take these all three of them 
This is our reference, remember? The one on the left is our reference point. And we're going to put these like this, grab them off the ends. Now you don't want to mash them together like this, but you want to have them kind of fanned out and grab them at the tips and twist them and give them a nice good pinch. And you're going to keep doing that until all of them are twisted together. Now, since I'm not going to be soldering these immediately, what we'll do is I usually like to take, when we have a splice like this, I like to take the single wire and put it in parallel with the twist versus having the twist with the double wires. Now you can leave these reference points on here or you can take them off, it's up to you. So I'm going to remove my reference tapes here so I know because this is the first one and I'm just going to go down the line then and do the same thing for each one. Now I'd recommend taping them now versus trying to work with this when they're all just twisted together because you could pull apart and then you're not going to know which one's which. So we're going to go ahead we're going to tape this. I usually like to put the tape over the splice here and pinch it. So this is self-contained already and then you can just take your fingers and roll it. The important part is to make sure there's no wire exposed. This is low voltage, so you're not going like, to cause a fire if you do, but it's going to short your stepper driver out. So we got no wire exposed here. Doesn't look that pretty, but it's functional. So we're going to go down the line. So I'm going to go to the second wire that's right next to the one we just spliced and rinse and repeat. So I'll speed this up and then show you guys the end result. Like I said, don't err on the side of too little pressure because you don't want to go through the wires. So I'm going to go through and just do the next wire and repeat for the other three. Now I did this one a little longer. You can trim it if you want, just so it fits inside the width of your electrical tape. And you only need a little bit, just a little bit. So again, put the tape on, make sure you cover the entire wire. Give it a little squeeze here. So the tape is touching itself and then I like to roll this on it. You can either roll it and like pinching like I was or you can just keep folding it over like this. It's all personal preference. So we've got our first and second wires and you can see here. So we got our first one and our second one. And now we're going to do the third and then the fourth. So I'm just going to speed this up. Now one thing I wanted to mention again is that when you're twisting these, you want to give some good pressure with your fingers so you get a nice tight wrapping here. Especially if you're not going to solder this. Now if you are going to solder this, all you're going to do is before you tape this, is take your soldering iron, heat this up, put some solder in here, and then it'll just tin the wires and they'll all be bonded. It's not really needed, there's not a ton of current going through these, but I personally would be soldering this if this was a customer job but I understand a lot of people do not have a soldering iron handy. We have our two stepper motor cables here. I'm just gonna verify that we, we spliced one to one across. So I got my first wire coming out of the plug. It's going into the furthest wire on here. We got the second wire coming out of the plug. It's going into the one right next to that, just like it is on the plug. Same thing for the third and same thing for the fourth. Now I can plug this into my motherboard that has a single Z stepper and you're all ready to go. This is all you need to do. If you want to make it look nicer, you can just take this and put some extra electrical tape around here to clean this up and make this look. But you can see here, I'm pulling on this and it's not letting go because we did nice twists and then we got these all insulated so it's not going to short anything out. And that's it. It's literally that simple to convert your dual Z plugs to a single Z and you can run two motors off of your single Z driver. I hope this video is helpful and explains how to actually wire two Z motors into a single plug. This could be applicable to other motors technically, but I'm not aware of any machines that have two X or two Y motors. This is going to be a common situation when you're converting a CR-10S that has two Z motors to a MKS board or some other board that has a single Z header. Now again, remember, 
the stock boards, when they have two plugs, they're just wiring them in parallel. So instead of doing it on the board with two physical plugs, we're just doing it at the cable side. There's no downfall of doing this. It works the same as if you had two stepper plugs in terms of them being on the same driver. So on the Creality boards, you can see here, they have two Z plugs. If you look at the back, they're just connected in parallel. So pin one is connected to pin one, two to two, three to three, four to four. It's just the same thing, except we just did it at the cable side instead of on the board. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some more content, new products coming out from us, and happy printing.